All right, everybody, give me a one or yes if you're still in the chat box and if you can hear me loud and clear. We're just getting started. We were not supposed to go live right now, but I think something happened on GoToWebinar, so we went live. But we will start the presentation in about five to 10 minutes, or more like three, two to three minutes. But give me a one or yes if you can hear me loud and clear, and we'll get started in a bit. Now, I've got a friend of mine who is gonna be running the session today and uh, running the training today and show you guys uh, a lot of cool stuff. So Arif, what I was telling you uh, right before we get started on the presentation, what, what, what do you do? You, you clicked on the start broadcast. You only do that when we are about to go live, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. So, uh, so give me a one or yes okay. if you can hear me loud and clear. And we will, we will yeah, go live. So we'll start in a couple of minutes, all right? We're just waiting for more people to join in because it's a little bit too early. We were supposed to go live two minutes later, but a bit of a glitch happened and we are live. So you're here. Let's see who's on, who's live with us. Um, we've got Calvin, we've got David, we've got Duncan, we've got Gloria, we've got John, Lily, Mark, Maurice, Rafiq, Rolf, William. Okay, brilliant. A lot of people coming in. Uh, gonna be a gonna be a fun session today, I think. Um, just so you know, we're not pitching anything. We're not gonna be trying to sell you anything. Um, we're gonna be doing a bunch of these trains going forward. I'm probably gonna be inviting a lot of people. That, no, no, Kelvin. There, there are no upsells as well, Kelvin. The only upsell is um, for you to take action. I want you to take notes of what we're gonna be sharing today in the training and put it in action. Because this is the end of the year, almost, um, you know, 2022 is gone, brand new is coming, 12 brand new months, and uh, we all need to put the work in if you want to achieve financial stability and freedom in the coming few years. So what I would want is for you to take a paper and pen and learn something, take notes and put it into action going forward. We will... Wait for another minute before we get uh, get started. We got William Page joining us. We got Shankar. We got Rolf. Some of people joining in. We got somebody named Active Active. I don't know who that is because they don't have their name showing up. Active Active. What's your name, Mr. Active Active? Where are you joining us from? What part of the world are you joining us from? Okay, brilliant. I think we got David Smith here as well. A couple more people joining in. Um, Rafiq from New York. Oh, Sam Rafiq, New Yorker. Brilliant, brilliant. I think the couple of, couple of important things that we're going to be covering in today's training is mostly going to revolve around um, how other individuals are creating video courses, how they're selling video courses, and how you could uh, do the same by researching your niche, by finding out what works, what doesn't work, how to do a bit of niche research. We're going to show you how you can create a video course, how to structure it and all that stuff, um, how to publish it. Uh, we'll show you how somebody from our team has created a course and they're publishing it on a learning management system like Udemy where they can get free traffic and you know uh, start. Uh, getting some sales, Calvin. Yeah, not not Udemy, Calvin. A different platform, but similar to Udemy. But you know, the process is same. If you if, if you can do that in that platform, you can do it in Udemy, and you can start generating um, sales with it. Now, this is similar to a presentation I did um, in October, I think, at an event I was speaking at an event I was keynote speaking, and it, that presentation went on for almost two two and a half hour. And boy, it was cold in that room. So I was speaking in Thailand and the presentation went on for two, two and a half hour. And there were about a hundred people in the room. And at this point, I know about 30, 35 people took action and half of them have their micro courses live on Udemy and they're making money. Now I can't share the exact same presentation with you guys because it was uh, privileged information, but we're gonna show you you something better and something more than what I shared in that presentation. And I've got somebody who's going to be doing a brilliant, brilliant show today. 
Um, Calvin, let me see what your question is. Does YouTube find issues with AI content? So Calvin, to answer your question, it does find now, but it, it like it, it won't send you a lot of organic traffic. But what's going to happen going forward, Google, Google uh, who actually owns YouTube, is still uh, trying to figure out how to deal with AI-generated voice, AI-generated content. So we don't have clarity. A lot of TikTokers, a lot of marketers, there's a lot of noise in the market on Twitter everywhere, but nobody really knows what the reality is. Um, Asking if you're asking me for somebody who actually studies Google's patents, reads their blogs, know people in the in the search engine team, because I've been doing this for like 20 years almost, and I was a nerd kid back in the school, so I know people who studied with me in the college and now working at Google. They, had, they they're still trying to decide. Google is still trying to decide what to do with this, how to deal with how to deal with this, because the way the content is generated, the AI voiceovers, the AI written content, at one point in the coming few months, it would be almost indistinguishable from, you know, reality. So, you know, we, we don't know how it's going to be there, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of scope. Even if you use AI content, voiceovers, if you use it in a smart way, you can still make a lot of money, especially if you use it for video courses. Nobody cares about video courses when it comes to Google traffic because you're not... Uh, Google is not indexing the content of your course, it's just indexing your sales pages. So, you know, you can use artificial intelligence to create content and voice over for your video course, perfectly fine. All right, so we've got a good, uh, bunch of new people coming in. Let me see, we've got more people. Who is it? Let me see, Marshall, Mark, uh, we got Kevin, Kevin Jones, Ken. We got Tiffany here as well from Las Vegas. Okay, brilliant. Okay, guys, let's get started. I don't want to take too much time and blabber about it. So today's training is absolutely free training, and we're going to be doing a bunch of these trainings, and we're going to be talking about some really, really cool stuff. Um, there's no sale. There's nothing to pitch. All I want you to do is take a paper and pen, take notes, and after the session, drop me an email. Let me know your feedback. What do you think about it? What would you take away voice? And make sure you take notes, learn something new, and put it in action. Now, for today's training, I've got a brilliant, brilliant presenter uh, from the Relapse team joining us, who's going to be running the session, who's going to be running the training, who's going to be sharing all the cool stuff uh, with you, and is going to be answering your questions. We're going to try to keep it tight, about an hour, a little over an hour, but I know everybody's time is precious, you all are busy, and I want to make sure that we share all good stuff in the shortest amount of time with more clarity. So I've got my brilliant friend, Asif, from the Relapse team is going to be running this show. Asif, can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Guys, give us a one of yes if you can hear Asif. Uh, can you hear me, everybody? All right. Okay. Lots of ones and yeses coming in, so you're loud and clear. Um, just before you get started, Asif, John, we probably will not have a replay because this is just like a random put together training. I'll try. I can't promise we're recording it, but I can't promise it's going to be a replay. So Asif, without further ado, take over. It is your session and I'm going to be here in the background and look forward to the session today. Yeah. So uh, just a second. So just let me know if you see the screen. Yeah. So can you see the screen? Uh, if you can confirm, yeah. Uh, just a second. Yeah. Can you see the screen of presentation? Uh, if you just let me know so that, or anyone from the can hear, can see your screen. All good. Let's get started. Yeah. All good. All good. Okay. So hello everybody. So thank you so much Abhi, for the introduction and uh, thanks uh, for for uh, making making this session happen. And I'll be happy to be uh, to share some of the things about this uh, this amazing topic because I really like this uh, this one because I I did a lot of courses online previously because uh, one of my uh, main background was uh, uh, I, I I have created uh, uh, two of the uh, tech company in in one of the uh, in one country and also. Uh, did I actually create a lot of courses and I, at the same time I, I teach in the university so I'll show some of the aspect uh, because you know many times it happens that uh, when you are creating online courses 
But at the same time, uh, people are thinking that, let's say, uh, a teacher is teaching the university or in a college, but what is uh, how they can sell the, the same course in the online learning platform or even the, through a different platform by them. But some of the uh, some of the greatest stories I'll I'll, I'll just uh, try to cover up uh, cover here today. Along with uh, I'll I'll try my level best to share you with the, with some strategy how you can actually uh, get into it and also uh, I mean get started your um, any courses you want to teach online. So first these are the thing I will cover up. So I hope. Uh, so first first of one of the important things so people actually just to get started so before i i, I get into it i just let you know one of the thing that is uh for example uh some sometimes it happens that uh, uh one of your friends are getting a huge number of uh, let's say attention in social media at the same time you are not getting any attention in social media so one of one of the main reason of this is your friend or that person you are actually thinking of he is uh, actually uh, trying to uh, ha actually found a perfect uh, uh, of, of his or her target audience I mean they are liking their content uh, so for online course it is also same so finding your target audience is the one of the key aspect of, of uh, getting it started second thing is how you can actually plan and organize your content so I'll cover this up third thing is how you can actually create uh, I mean high quality video because one of my as a learner one of my main concerns when, uh, when I actually started I will show some of the great uh, online courses I did previously as a learner not not a teacher uh, so why I like those courses a lot one of the main reason I have found that uh, they have shown something uh, in in the screen at the same time I can see the their faces as well so uh, having i mean uh, a good high quality video content is very crucial for uh, making it much more sellable and last but not the least is marketing and promotional aspect i'll cover so first of all one of the thing is many people actually thinking of let's say what is the trending topic sometimes it happens that what are the trending topic topic based on that you are going to start something let's say uh, create an online course and uh, something like that but it is not like that. So whatever you are good at, you can actually create the online courses based on your own expertise. This is one of my uh, prime courses. Like uh, I have recently started uh, building one of the courses. So what about what was that? So I have found that one of my actually uh, great potential is I can I am very good at let's say uh, Google Workspace application, all the applications. So I'm trying to create uh, some of the courses based on those, those applications. One of my friend I have found, he has created a course on uh, one of the video editing software. So he is very good at that. So he, have, he has created the course. Another I, I have found one of, the, one of my friend, he has created another course on how anyone can make a, a good quality video online and at the same time edit those videos. So it is so two of my friends one of the one of them uh, one of my friends uh, he has created the uh, course of video editing based on uh, laptop or desktop and another of my friend has created the video on mobile uh, so how anyone can uh, edit the video from mobile phone so let's say that particular those are those have those um, two of my friends has created the video on video editing but it is from different niche so one of my prime concern, I, I'll just uh, let you know, that is just before get into it, just uh, think about yourself, what you are good at. So whatever you are good at, just think of it and how you can make uh, full use of that. And one of the thing is like, you know, uh, uh, for example, you should find out that uh, if, let's say you have created a course on, let's say mobile video editing, how we can create, I edit the videos from your mobile phone. So are there the potential customers are there? So who wants to learn the same? Nowadays, it is one of the most demanding services, how people can actually uh, create the videos from their mobile phone. So this is what, what I ask, like, uh, if you want to sell something, sell a course, online courses online, so one of the thing you just need to uh, uh, pay attention that, 
do you like to make people make other learn something new or make other learn what you are good at so if you have that passion that you want to teach something in a very different way in a very easy way then others then just jump into it and create a create a course uh, uh publish it in one of the learning platform and just try to boost it marketing and make it sellable so just first of all that i i hope that i'll be just told that you should take notes so one of the main thing is just after the session i'll ask that what you have found that uh, what you are good at and in the meantime if you can write something in the chat box that uh, let's say i want to create a course on this just try to write something like let's say on then i'll just talk about that how you can get it started on to it so anyone uh, like uh, all of you should write something like i want to create a course on let's say uh, if you ask me what uh, i mean uh, what topic you want to make course of so i will just uh, tell that yes i will create course on uh, let's say instagram marketing how you can uh, do the instagram marketing properly so this is my topic so you just think of what you are good at what uh, if you want to develop a course uh, uh, so what topic you want to create the course and why so this is one of the main important thing so one of the framework i follow so i will tell you after some time this is not part of this particular uh, session or slide but one of the uh, actually methodology i follow when i'll think uh, i actually think of uh, making a strategy for anything so i'll tell you about that sometimes so these are the success stories sometimes people think that you know if i create online courses what will be my benefit so these are some of the great stories you can see they all have started with something so uh, like michels and twins so they have created uh, uh, a separate blocks of them by which they are earning 1.4 million say year proofread anyway so you'll find different blocks on proofreading or writing and every different different sort of starts you can just go there and you can find lot of useful thing so um, so she is earning like you know Proofread, then you had the founder. She is earning like 2.4 million a year. So, but uh, three to four years back, when he actually she get started, she actually trying to find which was the target market. Uh, so, and the demanding uh, topic and everything. So then he have uh, she has found that yes, proofreading and is one of the thing people are actually stuck in in many of the aspect like employee perspective. entrepreneurs perspective like the uh, sales copy perspective pitching perspective so she has started this platform named proofread anywhere so uh, you can check uh, have a look then create and go so this uh, couple are actually earning 1.2 million a year and it's to can just to can think so she he has he's earning 6 million a year so though he is uh, among all these uh, he is the to can is the one of the uh most uh, i mean uh, uh, he he actually started very early back in 2012 so he has started so so these are the great stories by how they can create courses and earning millions a year so let me move in so let's unlock uh, your your potentials and how you can actually create your own courses online but before going going on that i'm just showing one of the thing like is there anybody uh, here in this in this session uh, have you done uh, have you taken part any of the online courses previously like from uh, different online learning, learning platforms like uh, let's say coursera is one of the platform my most favorite platform coursera or let's say there is a platform named udemy uh, so udemy is another platform so i really like this so is there anybody who has uh, done any of the courses online previously uh just uh, say hi yes i did on and what are the things you really like most on those particular courses if you just let me know so that i can actually check yeah yeah that's cool so yeah i can see a lot of people reply that yes you have done so these two i just highly recommend these two platform because i have done uh, if if i am not wrong more than 500 plus courses not as a, as an instructor but uh, as an as a learner 
So I'm telling you, these are the platform is, is absolutely a brilliant platform to learn a specific things. So like Udemy, Udemy is more like whatever you want to learn, you can just learn from it, learn, learn from this platform. So like this, you know, uh, so for example, so I just wanted to share about him after some time, this Thomas, what he did. He has picked digital marketing uh, about his specific marketing. I'll just tell after a bit. So these are the platform. I hope some of you have done courses. And uh, I think uh, there are a lot of things about this particular, uh, particular platforms. So one of the main difference in these two platforms are Udemy is like, these are university courses. So you have to follow a certain criteria about the university rules and regulations. So they have created the course uh, from the university or the, uh, uh, let's say, academic institutions or industry. Let's say Google has created course and published their course in this, in this platform for Coursera. But Udemy, anyone can publish courses. So there are, you have to follow some criteria. So what are the criteria? I'll just tell you after some time. Uh, then I'll just let you know what you can uh, how and how you can get it started. So I hope many of you have uh, done the courses uh, through uh, different online learning platforms, not only Coursera, Udemy. There are thousands of thousands of different learning uh, online learning platforms. You can learn from this platform at the same time. You can actually publish the courses in those platforms as well. So let's get started. So if you see, if I see, if I, uh, if uh, I'm uh, trying to tell you my perspective, let's say Mr. X wants to develop a course on video editing. Does it make any sense? Do you think it is very specific? He wants to develop a course on video editing. In video editing, I'm telling you, I have found these are the most, if I'm not wrong, there are 35 different categories are there. 35 different categories I have found in internet that if you want to create a, uh, create videos, uh, video editing, uh, uh, let's say courses, on what particular uh, area you want to create courses. Let's say you want to create a, create a video editing course on 3D product animation. So it is now a very specific one. So now, uh, for example, you, you want to create a video editing course on what e-learning video production course. So then it is specific. And let's say I, as an educator, or let's say university teachers, or aspiring uh, online course creator, wants to see wants to see that how I should jump into it, jump jump into uh, creating e-learning videos. So then I'll just uh, check this out. Not this typical one. Video editing doesn't make any sense. So. Actually, if you say that this is a, I'll create the course, a course on video editing. Actually, the people will get confused. Then they, that what other video editing like, you know, if the, if that particular uh, creator is talking about a video editing software or any specific niches or any target and who's, who are the target audience? He, he or she actually didn't mention it properly that video editing course on let's say e-learning. Video editing for, let's say, it is a logo animation course. How we can create, I mean, uh, make a logos and animate the logos. So video editing, what? Video editing, this, these are, see, there are 35 different categories. So these are called different niches. So if I say about video editing courses, so if you want to create video editing courses, you have to look into it. What are the different niches? On, on which niche you want to create the course? Niche means the specific target market. So if you want to uh, select, the, if you have selected that, I want to create the course on, let's say, visual effects, just go for it. So uh, this course is all about visual, uh, visual effects. So then that particular audience, those who are searching online that, uh, let's say, I, I want to learn about video, visual effects, how to create those. Then he just click on that. Otherwise, people will get confused and end of the day, uh, they will actually uh, not interested much more in in their in, in your courses. So identify your perfect and specific niche is the key for your success for your online course. This is not only online courses. If you uh, if you see the business or entrepreneurship lectures and series from different 
aspects on YouTube or anywhere, you'll find that the first and foremost thing to start your business is to find the right niche or right customers. Who are your target audience or customers? So as you, let's say, uh, for example, I'm talking about, let's say, this is, uh, you are creating a, creating a course and make, you want to uh, sell the course. That means you are an entrepreneur by yourself. So you are you are actually an entrepreneur because you have made a product. So your course is your product. So you want to make it sellable, isn't it? So obviously, identifying the right niche is the key to success. So second thing is so so, but this is the question that how can you identify your target audience and how you can reach them. So one of the thing is here, so you have to segment your audience properly. So like here, so in this, in this, uh, in this particular, uh, what, uh, what can I say? So different uh, areas of video editing, for example, I'm just uh, giving the example for this particular aspect. So let's say you have found that I will create a course on, uh, for example, e-learning video production. So how uh, the uh, e-learning, uh, you can do anyone, uh, develop their e-learning videos perfectly or eff effectively. So then you have found the niche. So who are the target? Who, who could be the target audience? Target audience could be the individuals. So who wants to create the videos online? Even not only that. Sometimes it is very much linked to it. Those who wants to become an YouTuber as well. So sometimes I, you will find hundreds of hundreds of YouTubers. Those who are just sharing a lot of educa educational videos on uh, in YouTube. So sometimes those who actually wants to create videos and uh, upload these video or create his or her own YouTube channels. Uh, so the, it, it could be very much beneficial for him or her as well. So because e-learning in e-learning, this is a very small word, but we within this particular word, the definition and the description could be many because I will show you after some time as we are talking about online course, end of the day, it is an e-learning one. So then conduct market research. Market research, uh, do your market research properly. So if I'm just, I'll just show you how you can do it. For doing market research, one, one of the example I have found recently, um, I was reading a case study. So I have found that uh, one of the e-commerce company, I forget the name actually. So I, one of the e-commerce company in USA, from the day one, uh, not only from the first month, they are do, doing act, uh, actually phenomenal because they are making profit from the very beginning. So how they are doing that? So because so their founder actually revealed their story. So why they, whatever they are just trying to sell from their e-commerce platform, People are, people are just loving it and buying it from their platform. So how they actually research these, uh, like which of the products or products uh, people are like to buy mostly. So he revealed that during his market research time, he just researched on Amazon, Amazon e-commerce platform that which product has the highest review, which product has, let's say, uh, uh has i mean the from amazon people are buying uh, the highest level of uh, the, the highest number of people has buy the product and so on so by these two or three criteria he has found that yes these are the products are in high demand so we will create our e-commerce platform and sell those pro products only those have high demands by which actually he he got a huge hype in the market and people are buying from there platform, their e-commerce platform, not the others, because they are finding the trending products uh, because, uh, you know, the, as the, you know, uh, the founder of that particular e-commerce company, I just told that this is one of the story that how you can do market research. Let's say, I'm just telling you one of the, uh, so whenever just you want to, uh, uh, just be, let's say you have selected a topic, then let's say uh, you wanted to create a course on, for example, what could be the topic? Uh, so anyone, if let me check if I find any of the topic on, uh, from the chat. So let's say, is there anyone uh, who have found any topic to get started? Let's say if we want to create a course on this topic. Let's say I want to find a co. I want to create a course in Instagram marketing, for example. Instagram marketing. 
So I'm just searching it from one of the platform because this is, uh, if you want to create a course and do the market research, so one of the thing you can do, this is what I do basically, I actually do my research from different online learning platforms. So what are the reviews? So let's say this is a bestseller course. Why it is bestseller course? I, I actually trying to try to find the uh, in depth uh, of this. Let's say if I click on this. So I can see that this is uh, see the number of students. So 179,000 students are there. The rating is very high. So I want to just see the, uh, for example, what are the contents here? See the course content, even you can see the course contents are there. How many, uh, so how many uh, different videos he made? So what are the different issues? So if you research things like this way, so you will get, get an in-depth idea from your competitor. Let's say I want to create a course on e e uh, Instagram marketing and want to publish in, a, in an e-learning platform. He could be my potential, uh, I, want, I don't want to say trade, but competitor. He will be my potential uh, competitor. And sometimes your competitor, some, not sometimes, every single time, your competitor is one of the greatest source of your learning. So how you can actually find the bestest possible thing. Sometimes you can actually research about your competitors, so time to time. So this is one of the thing, at least I'm just telling you, so when you will do the market research, so how less on any topic uh, you want to create the courses, at least five to 10 courses, best selling courses, you will you should look at and you should look in there, take notes, why they are best selling, why they are best seller courses. See, this one is the highest rate. Uh, uh, so why they are highest rate, I need to, uh, so, Another thing is, see, the topic is so sensitive issue for uh, creating an online courses. So have giving a right topic actually boost your target audience and uh, boost your target audience to, uh, I mean, take part in your courses. So this is one of the thing you should uh, take a, I mean, a greater look. Or, I mean, you should just, the uh, first thing is the topic is, so what are the different topics? But obviously, let's say you want to create a course and you, you, you actually given the same name as this one, then sometimes it will be flagged. These are these e-learning platform because whenever you will just submit your courses on this particular platform for the first time or every single time, they will just validate your course, verify your course. Is everything right or you have done just the uh, copywriting, uh, some other contents and everything. So in this, in in those those cases, your your course will be rejected from this platform. So you should be very careful about the topic. So yes, it could be a great topic, but you just tweaking a bit. So they all have been started. See, they have just a, all these courses are different name, but these names are very catchy names. Got it. So names are very important thing. One of the things. So. While you will do your market research, just take a look into deeper look into some of your competitors' course uh, from different learning platform, by which you will get some reviews or feedbacks and everything. By which it will actually help you. What are the topics are very important? What are the different subtopics are very important? At the same time, you will find some of the target customers that let's say these are or those particular students. Uh, are taking part in their course, they, they could be your potential customer as well. Because, you know, in let's say, in uh, for example, uh, uh, nowadays, they're the market of e-commerce. There are thousands and thousands of e-commerce platforms are there. So why you are buying one uh, from one e-commerce and not from others? And uh, let's say after sometimes you stop buying from the previous one and you, you start buying from another e-commerce platform just because of they are just giving uh, more value most probably um, more uh, efficient product it could be so you should actually take all this aspect properly see the uh, competitor analysis so while you will do the market research so you could do the competitor analysis as well so why they are uh, good at uh, why they are doing base and what is not going well because you know in those reviews some of the bad reviews are there so you can you should actually pick the bad reviews as well 
because of your learning. So if you pick those bad reviews, it will actually help you to understand what you should not do while developing the online courses. You should look at the industry trends. Uh, one of the things you should talk to your audience. How, just now the question is how you can talk to your audience. Directly, uh, you can talk to the audience because when you will develop, because in, in the initial stages, um, you can skip that, that part. So in the initial stages, but at the same time, I will show you another place how you can actually talk to your audience, just, just as this is a part of this. How you can talk to your audience? Just one of the thing is like uh, from this particular platform, see? See, in this way, so when you will publish the courses, you can get the chance to talk to your audience through emails and everything. And you can send the notification, let's say, let me pick one of them. Let's say this one. Uh, just a second. Oh no, not that. So this is a course, by the way. So if I show you something else, so so there is an option named communication in the Udemy platform. All the platforms are kind of same. So as uh, if you uh, will be the creator of any online platform, so you will get the chance to. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, talk to your uh, target audience or those who actually enrolled in your course. See, like this one. They have sent me a message. I, I can even see, I have uh, replied them sometimes and they have replied me back uh, sometimes. So in this way, you can actually directly or indirectly communicate uh, to your uh, target audience or enrolled students. So let's say you have, initial, in the initial stage, you have uh, submitted a course, then you have found 10 of the new enrolled students. Among these 10, two have, uh, let's say, started, and eight of the students has not started anything yet. So you can just directly send them text in a proper way, not, not in a casual way. Obviously, it should be a very formal way uh, to talk to the, your uh, audience. It should be very generic. At the same time, it should be actually customized and personalized as well. Let's say if you want to send uh, the messages um, in those platform, one of the key uh, uh, key thing I have found that you can customize the message in such a way, it actually uh, mention you properly. Let's say in a e-learning uh, uh, e -learning course, uh, course, you have found 50,000 students. It is impossible to write the uh, write this uh, email to all the 50,000 uh, 50, students individually. So, in this particular platform like Udemy and this sort of platform, they have made a, a great platform for the communication. So by which you can actually uh, send the email in a proper proper way. So you have written one thing. If you send that, it will be actually sent to all these 50,000 students properly. And try to check the data. You know, you have the students from where they belong, let's say why they are liking your course why what are the things they dislike who has given you the five stars who has given you the less amount of stars those who have haven't given uh, those who have given you uh, let's say bad reviews so they could be a great source of your learning as well for the future courses or for your content as well because in udemy you can actually re-update your courses time to time so it could be let's say from one of the contents you have uh, you have done something wrong. So let's say you have done a, uh, done the content based on the data of 2010. So now we are living in 2023. So obviously this data could be obsolete. So you can recreate the video and upload in the same particular topic in a different way. So by which actually you can try to uh, see the data properly and try to update and re-update time to time. Uh, so how you can find your target market or niche. So these are the great source. I must tell you one of the great sources, no doubt, but Google, Google, your Google is uh, Google is everything nowadays. I, I must tell you. So Google in Google, if you Google everything, uh, Google anything, you just find it out. So, uh, so this is one of the things. Yeah, Kiora is another one. Keywords everyone. Pinterest, I like the most. So I have found that, let's say, this is my Pinterest platform. That's why I just created. I don't know how many of you have uh, Pinterest at home. Just uh, you know, try to interact so that uh, try to interact in the, in the chat and everything so that I can actually get in touch with you. And uh, 
So, so Pinterest is such a great platform. I actually use it every single day for several, uh, at least one hour, one hour out of my day I uh, spend in Pinterest. So I try to find different topics. So why let's say, uh, for example, nowadays, one of the uh, key topics, uh, let's say, everyone is talking about, let's say, chat GPT. Let me check. I haven't searched previously. So see, there are different things you will find about chat GPT. So by which it could be a great source of inspiration for you. At the same time, see some of, uh, some of, uh, some of uh, let's say creator of you know, uh, what what is the name uh from pinterest they have created something on chat GPT. they just say you know uh, upload it here so you can find something here let's say uh, i want to find something low uh, something for uh, creating online course if i write so i misspelled here online see you will get a lot of lot of suggestions here so at the same time one of the key aspects while you are actually trying to uh, what can i say let's say you want to upload your courses this could be your reference material as well this could be your reference material at the same time your additional resource as well so pinterest is one of them you can find uh, some of the great additional resource here okay instagram is Similarly, because uh, one of the thing is hashtagging is uh, very important here. So let's say if I write uh, Pinterest mark, I want to create a course on Pinterest. Pinterest marketing. Marketing, what it, it will suggest me. So it will actually suggest me something like, you know, so different. So for example, you know, I'm just showing you a technique. So let's say I have searched on Pinterest marketing. And one of the suggestions come there, perfect Pinterest profile in uh, 15 steps, or so this one. So this could be your one of the topic or one of the module of the course. So from, where, from here, you can pick these 15 different things. And at, at the same time, you can make three different videos or four different videos on let's say three minute or two minute, three minutes videos based on this so this could be a great source of your inspiration as well so later you have found let's say uh, for example if i go back again um, so let's say this this one so grow your pinterest hashtag so so these are one of the creator here she he has shown that these are the let's say one three ten different ways you can do the hashtagging properly in pinterest so you can uh, created a video based on these hashtagging and this could be your great source of inspiration this particular content so by this sort of platform you, you know pinterest keyword every anywhere or even cura these are a great source of your inspiration at the same time for your content as well so i hope you are understanding that how you can actually find your perfect niche from this sort of platforms properly along with the context so this could be your great source of inspiration for content. So you have found a niche on, let's say, Pinterest marketing. So who could be the target customer? So one of the great way uh, to create the uh, target customer, potential target customer's profile is customer persona development. So I'm just telling you, at least in the initial stage, create at least five as you are in an initial stage at least five to ten different persona persona is just just fictional profile so let's say if you see here in one of the courses so persona is what about the customer customers persona so you can find some of the uh, information about them from the platform so let's say if i go here so see they they are the reviewers of this course uh, they have been stopped showing that you know so you can see the review that he has given so this amount of review review so you just need to research about this sort of people so and you need to think of what could be their characteristics so by which you can develop a persona like this but persona is sometimes it it it, it will just uh, um, the just a visual um, i sometimes just say that it could be a 
a small uh, portion of your uh, your customer's CV, by which you can actually find their interest, their frustration level, why they will, what is their goal. If your customer want to do your course, that means what are the goal they have? Let's say you have created a course on Pinterest marketing. So their potential goal could be they want to learn about Pinterest marketing or they want to do the Pinterest marketing for their SMEs or startups. So there are different goals they, they could have. So by which you can create at least five to 10 different persona. And sometimes people, when I uh, previously, I have, uh, if I, uh, many people actually asked previously that how I can create the persona. So nowadays, this is very easy because you can do this persona directly. Because See, I am creating, uh, I am presenting a slide from Google slide. This is a presentation making platform. You can create the same persona from your PowerPoint slide as well, or different tools like that. You can use Canva as well, or different tools like, if you write, you know, I just use for developing the persona is this one, HubSpot. So HubSpot, you can create your persona, your buyer persona easily. If you know the data properly, you just need to go there. If you just write in Google, like let's say HubSpot uh, buyer persona, they will just uh, give you this one. This link is this one, by the way. So you'll just go there and you can just build my persona. So you just uh, write down the name. Let's say if you write down, I'm just showing you a bit so that you can understand name. Let's say one of your customers name is Asif. So let's say he um, he he's uh, he's something like uh, what could it be? Okay, let's say this one. See, create it. So if you just go back, so next. So what could be the age? Let's say um, the age could be this one, 25 to 35. So whatever you are developing, it will be shown something like this, by which you can actually analyze your customer properly. So like this, you can just create this one, and uh, like this, you can uh, you can just uh, create and next, next. Then after some time, you'll get a template like this, which you can download that. So by which you can create your persona properly. So let me go back. Uh, so as we have, uh, so like this, you know, one of the uh, three most favorite of platforms of mine, uh, mine by which you can actually create your persona. Like one of the platform I have shown just HubSpot. So HubSpot is my favorite platform. I'm just telling you, HubSpot is my favorite platform. SEMrush is another one. You can create persona there, there as well, like the fictional characters. But obviously I'm just telling you, um, sometimes it is very good to research about your, uh, 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 what can I say, real customers, not the fictional one. In the initial stage, fictional characters are fine, but at the uh, when time uh, goes, you can actually think of real customers as well. Uh, so I hope you will. You are just thinking of your right target audience. So whatever you are thinking, just write out in the chat so that I can see later. And uh, if I get the chance, to, I can suggest something more. So this is one of the things. Then if I go uh, there, so how you can plan and organize your course. So I will show you. I just started planning something in Udemy because as I told you, I had uh, uh, I was being uh, the uh, CTO of two of the tech companies. So uh, so previously I had, uh, I had some ex great experience on how we can develop the platform as a whole, but somehow uh, now I am trying to build my own presence online because I want to develop some of the courses now. So, so how you can plan and organize your course content? Some first one is the topic, the most important one. If your topic is catchy, it will just take your customer to your course, at least to see your course objective, lesson material, and so on. Then curriculum form formulation. If the synchronis uh, if uh, the synchronization is not not there, proper synchronization in between the module, you should actually understand which is the beginning one, how you will start the course what could be in the middle portion of the course and how you will end the course. So the proper curriculum formation is very important. Then the lecture based, you should actually think of, it is only lecture based or the project based. In the project based courses, you have to show something. Let's say you are creating a course on a video editing software. Let's say in, in uh, let's say Adobe Premiere. So in that case, it is a project based course. But let's say you want to talk about uh, something on 
digital marketing in general theoretical aspects then it could be lecture based so you should actually think of is it lecture based or project based so if you are good at in showing something then you just go for project based and sometimes uh, you are good at talking uh, so just then go for lecture based then what could be the activity so how you can judge that your learners are learning or not so what could be one could be in udemy you can do the develop the quizzes so by which you can actually judge the uh, just your audience or uh, uh, lecture uh, what learners and last but not the least additional resources i am telling you pinterest and sources like this are great platform where you can find additional resources other than google obviously google is a great platform no doubt in google everything you will find but sometimes the infographics some of the uh, very specific thing you can get from pinterest and these sort of platforms as well okay now let me tell you about how high quality video content after that i will show something about the course formation as well so that you can understand properly the lighting is lighting is so important like the subject to it so subject means let's say you are developing your video and showing your faces so it is a great way so see if the video is something like this the learners will get scattered and you might lose uh, potential uh, customer and even uh, you might uh, get poor feedback because of this as well so lighting is so important so your lighting should be something like this then is clear color see the color just uh, you know upper for up upside of your head so the color would be like this so it is a good one sometimes in your in a lot of youtube videos you'll find find something like this the overhead lighting okay? so over uh, head lighting uh, is sometimes is no sometimes uh, is sometimes is uh, it actually distract your customers sometimes you, and i should not mention customer but uh, the learners so position your light camera and essence of shadow so something like this so lighting you know light side dark side you should actually think of this three point lighting setup if you have a proper setup if you if you want to do something more professionally try to i mean do the lighting in this way one is this one key light where your face will be shown like this then the second one is like this fill light this so this one is called fill light so it is just shadowing your uh, key light by the way and backlight in the backlight it will actually remove the background you know uh, everything it will just shown like this so the lighting setup is also an important thing if you want to show your video in your video just you want to talk something about it so in that case lighting is so important these are not good so avoid mixing color temperature so in this way you, uh, you know it is very distracting as a as a learner for me you know your soft lighting is so important so this is hard lighting in in hard lighting what will happen you know the shadows will come up and so on so soft lighting is so important thing so this is one of the thing and pay attention to to this one so sometimes it happens that you actually um, you know the lighting position in such a way it actually reflect in your eyes so this is not good at, at all so these are the seven things you actually um, think of properly and next one is the video editing software so this is another important aspect so in which uh, video editing software you should use i do not know how many uh, how many of you have uh, done it previously but uh, these are one of the things i actually mixed up both let's say video recording platform at the same time editing platform as well no doubt adobe premiere is the best platform in the market so far but if you are an initial uh, video editor and you want to develop uh, edit your videos by your own i just highly recommend to this platform filmora you can try this platform this is a great platform this is a great software i must say they have improved tremendously in the last 3 to 4 years i use the uh, premium version for my my video aspect so you can just uh, the if i go the pricing is not high enough i'm just telling you uh, and there are a lot of they have come up with let's say uh, see this one uh, the you know so here you will find the stock videos and a stock images and everything at the same time uh, most probably they'll give you the storage facility as well so uh, annual plan is very not very high you can try to use this one as well see 10 gb of free storage service yeah if you want to uh, create and develop i mean edit your course from your laptop or desktop you can use your own 
uh, storage, but at the same time, you can use their uh, 10 deep uh, storage as well. You can you can find the effects, the portrait, and uh, you know, a lot of other things. The the images, like you know, the pre images. You know, many of you know that uh, you can find the high quality images from Unsplash or the Pixels. So these all are integrated to uh, Filmora platform as well. So most probably in the coming days, uh, if I get another chance, I'll show how you can edit the videos uh, through Filmora as well. So this is one of the things you should actually uh, look into it. In the initial stage, you might try, uh, if, you have a, um, if you have the proper understanding of Adobe, just go for that. But if you do not have, you can try this platform. Filmora is very easy uh, to edit videos and everything. So you can try this one. And best part, platform to create and sell. There are several platforms I am telling you. One of my favorite is this one, Teachable. You can try this. Or Thinkific is a very worthy platform you can try. At the same time, these are, you know, in Teachable, what will happen? You can create through uh, your own branding. Like, you know, the, they will give you a platform where you might be the only teacher. Where, let's say, uh, you want to create a, uh, uh, you, have, you want to create 10 different courses on video editing, and you do not want to publish in it into another platform. Rather, you want to you want to develop your own e-learning platform. Try to try to uh, uh, look into Teachable or Thinkable, or where you'll find a greater understanding. Or even let's say, if you want to publish it uh, uh, for this particular platform, you can do it as well. Because in Udemy or these platforms, here you'll find. Uh, by default, uh, millions of uh, customers are there. So when you publish it, you might, you never know if you publish it, uh, publish your courses for the first time for free, you might get hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, learners from there as well. Because in Udemy, one of the great thing is they have by default thousands of customers, thousands of thousands of customers. So they can actually, uh, uh, have, by Udemy, you can actually get a lot of traffic from there as well. So what's next? So everything, you have created a course, you have found your niche, you have edited that, you have created a course and publish it. So what's next? The last but most important thing, you know, I told you, I told in one of my class recently that I have, I have bought, let's say, iPhone 14, iPhone 14 Pro or something like this. You know? Beyond iPhone 14 as a mobile phone, we actually buy the brands. We actually buy the, buy the logo of iPhone. We are paying the brand value. We are pay, paying for the brand value. So many times it happens that if you are not promoting or market your product properly, end of the day, you will not get proper reach. At the same time, for poor branding, maybe uh, your potential customer uh, will not know about the product and end up there what will happen you'll get frustrated and you many times it happens that 99 percent of time i have found that um uh, they have started uh, they they actually didn't do the marketing properly then what will happen they stopped and uh, trying to do something else so it happens so try to do marketing from different part platform uh wherever you want so i'll be quick here so in the coming days, most probably I'll uh, I'll take a separate session on this only how you can market or promote your courses properly uh, through different channels. So one of the important thing for marketing and promoting your course is first of all set your goals. This is one of the methodology I actually use it in all, in all my aspects and for setting your goals. There is I must tell you that there is no better go, better methodology uh, than smart methodology. This is specific, so you should be very specific. It should be, it should be measurable. It should be achievable. It should be realistic and timely. Let's say you have set a plan for next six months. So in this six months, you should make these all uh, through these all aspects. The second one is this one: consider audience. So, so think about what is your company or your course trying to approach with the e-learning course. So this is one of the things. That your audience, you know the audience or not. So the branding, if you cannot do the branding properly, what will happen? You will lose the customer, or you might not get the right customer properly. So you can follow this method called by the methodology. So this is called. That's why I tell you that you, I am talking about these two methodology. 
if I get, uh, if I, in the, in most probably in my pre, uh, next uh, sessions and so on, I'll come up with these more in depth. So by the way, it's like branding, attention, interest, desire, and action. So in the attention phase, you'll just uh, do some boosting. I mean, uh, timely or consistent, constant uh, uh, promotion in, in different uh, social media channel and everything. So by which you can get the proper customer. So through the interest phase, define your masses properly. If you cannot actually uh, keep the caption or the masses in a uh, catchy way, your, your potential customer might not get the interest, in, get the interest for, of your courses. So why would your audience likely study your online course? You should have a great punchline. So you should have, um, if you do not, if your customer do not know by by doing this course, I am get, I am I am able to do something be like this. Then your customer will not start doing your course. Then what could be the potential action? And last but not the least is running the campaign properly. I am telling you, it is not like that. You are promoting your uh, uh, promoting something about your course in Instagram only. Try to promote in all different social media because your customer might not be only in Instagram. They could be in Pinterest, they could, could be in Facebook, they could be even TikTok as well. They could be sometimes in YouTube as well. So try to promote it in a different way on through different channels. So if sometimes, you know, the newsletters and emails are so important. So newsletters and emails, and so this is a handy one. So email marketing, so I'm most probably in the coming days, I will talk more about this. And through all these for digital marketing aspects and everything one of the most important thing is it should be very constant creative and last but most importantly be be and be very consistent through your content creation and everything so now the question and answer part so i'm just showing you one of the course i'm just developing so that you can understand uh, so let's say I'm just showing you from my instructor dashboard from Udemy's one. Oh, just uh, so I'm just developing this. Uh, all, almost all the videos are uh, I have um, created. So see, this is the, I mean, um, what can I say? Uh, the instructor dashboard. This is, I'm telling you, if you, uh, if you uh, want to develop your course, try to create a course as I mean create an account in Udemy as an instructor today so that you can check that what are the things you should put there. So see the first one is the internal learner. What will the students will learn from the course? I have uh, mentioned several things here. So several things. So this could be the thing they, they, this could be the punchline for the course. So course structure. So they have uh, given you some of the tips and tricks. So set up and video test. So here you'll find the tips and tricks as well. Film and edit. So film and edit. So you'll find some. Uh, just a second. Okay. So here you'll also some find some of the tips and tricks. But here is the curriculum. So in the curriculum phase, you will just start uploading your content. See, I have I just started because I uh, you know uh, I have started. This is a uh, one of my first time. I'm just posting as I worked in several other tech platform. But this is the first time I'm just developing the course in Udemy. So see, one of the thing is I'm created it initially, as I told you that I'm going to create course on Google Workspace. So I picked the Gmail because in Gmail, there are a um, lot of features people actually do not know about. So I have created separate modules. So how much modules are there? So 10 different modules. So, and I have, uh, I have developed, I mean, filmed already 41 different videos. So I'm uploading one by one. I'm just, just showing one of the so these are the already I have uploaded so if I click here so see I have filmed and uploaded the video so um, no I, I must probably I'll show you later so this is the video you can see there so there you could add some potential uh, uh, description by which your uh, learner can understand that how what uh, uh, what are the things they are going to learn from here so this is the way you can actually uh, upload your course properly and if you see the curriculum so you can add lectures lectures means the videos the quizzes the exercise and everything assignment if you want to give so by which you can actually uh, 
uh, develop your courses online and also their captions and course landing page how your landing page could be so what are the things will be there so who are the your potential target customer so what could be the course image course image the i'm just uh, just showing you one of the thing course image is so important thing by course image sometimes students or learners are actually get uh, interested on um, about the what can i say about doing the course just a second okay if i go back to the student phase so the course image are something like this okay so this is the course image see this is so clean but at the same time this is very catchy so the course image you, you should actually upload this course image here and if you want to develop something as a promotional video you can upload the promotional video here as well so sometimes the uh, creators actually upload the promotional video if i could show something like this so see uh, no there is something sometimes you will find the promotional video but sometimes many times actually 95 more than 95 percent of cases the uh, content creator actually upload the images mostly so this is one of the things i should think of and by the way other 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 things are there so like you know the promotional what could be the potential pricing uh what what amount you will charge uh, for uh, for the course or certifications and everything so if you are very new i'm just telling you if you are very new one of the thing is do not jump into uh, developing the course right away rather um uh, Rather, one thing you should do is um, what I can say, like uh, do some online courses, let's say from Udemy, Coursera, or uh, this sort of platform. And there, from there, uh, you will just try to learn how they have uh, synchronized the courses, develop the course, contents, curriculum, everything, how they publish, how they get attention from the learners, and this and that. So these are the things is most crucial for your own learning. So try to learn this first then try to develop something by your own so this is one of the things you should actually think of and uh, uh, this is the thing if you have any question feel free to ask me so that i can answer ah if you have any question feel free to ask and i hope in the coming days we'll um, uh, we'll have most uh, more more sessions like this so that i can talk more about the marketing and different aspects so that you can understand more is there any any question so far uh, awesome i think that was a pretty pretty brilliant um presentation folks listen um what we shared today was pretty straightforward pretty simple pretty actionable stuff and again no hype nothing to buy nothing to sell every single tool every single piece of course as you've already paid for and have access to can be reused to achieve what asa shared with us today okay so that that's there is now what i will do is i'll try to have a recording of this uh rendered if go to webinar doesn't mess it up have it uploaded and i'll email everybody who has attended. This will not be shared with people who did not attend it, right? So we'll try to do a couple more trainings. Everybody who attends gets access to the, to the recording and replay so they can watch it again, make notes. Uh, people who don't attend will not be able to get access to the training because I wanna be fair with everybody. People who put in their time and effort in actually coming online, asking questions and joining the, the training should get access to all of it. All right, so if you don't have any more questions, what I will do is I'm going to wrap this up. Again, what I would really, really prefer, what I would really, really appreciate is if you could drop me an email and let me know your feedback from this training. And of course, if you have any questions and I'll make sure me or my team get back to you, get all your questions answered. So that's about it. Thank you for joining us today and you guys have a great day. Thank you, Asif. Thank you so much, Vivian. Thanks all for joining.